Welcome, this is the first video tutorial on 3D Cell Annotator. I will show you how it works and what its basic features are. Before running 3D Cell Annotator, please read the help documentation file provided with the software. 3D Cell Annotator is a freely available software tool for segmenting single cells and nuclei starting from a 3D dataset. 3D Cell Annotator uses active contours with shape descriptors as prior information for true single cell annotation in a fully and semi-automatic fashion. It is implemented in C++ CUDA and it is distributed as a patch for the segmentation module of the popular Medical Imaging Interaction Toolkit. It works on Linux and Windows 64-bit operating systems and it requires a recent version of the NVIDIA drivers and a CUDA-enabled GPU. You can download 3D Cell Annotator together with some sample datasets at www.3d-cell-annotator.org. Let us see how 3D Cell Annotator works. Briefly, it requires a 3D image as an input Typically, a Z-stack of sections acquired with a confocal, a multiphoton, or a light sheet fluorescence microscope. For each cell of interest, it requires initial contours created manually by the user or automatically with external tools. After starting the contour evolution, the user can adjust some parameters in real time to obtain a precise segmentation. Finally, the obtained segmentation can be exported as a binary stack for further analysis. In this video, to show you how to segment cells with our tool, we will use a sample dataset composed of 56 cells, namely a mouse embryo dataset with stained nuclei. The dataset was acquired with a confocal microscope, and you can find the link to download it at www.3d-cell-annotator.org. Let us open MITK and load the dataset. MITK provides several views to thoroughly explore the dataset. To segment a single object, just use the segmentation menu and create a new label which then identifies that cell. With the Add button, you can quickly create an initial contour needed for 3D cell annotator. Just a few seconds are needed to create the initial contour for each object to be segmented. Now that we have some rough initial contours, we can start using 3D cell annotator to obtain a precise segmentation. 3D Cell Annotator provides several parameters helping you to adjust the contour in real time during surface evolution. The two most important are the desired volume and the desired sphericity. To enable the manual adjustment of these parameters, just click on the flag buttons at the bottom part of the graphical user interface. You can then give a weight between 0 and 10 for each parameter, with value 1 meaning just enabled. In order to impose a stronger effect of that parameter on the evolution of the surface, just set a higher value. Then, play a little with the sliders to obtain a precise segmentation of the object. When you are satisfied with the segmentation, remember to save it by clicking on the Accept Suggested Object button. Let us segment the other cells.
After a while, you will have the single segmentations of all the 56 cells. You can now decide to subdivide them in different classes. For example, this cell is probably approaching an necrotic stage. You can then export the binary stacks of selected cells to proceed with their analysis, for instance, to extract morphological features. Please read the help documentation to get a more complete overview of the various analysis options offered by our tool and if you have any question, feel free to contact us. Thank you for watching this introductory video tutorial. You have now gained an overview of the basic features of 3D Cell Annotator.